Yo, 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 what's going on? Uh, today we have an interesting project. Uh, one of my boys brought his wheels. Um, he brought his wheels, wanted to try it out in his car, but it doesn't fit. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit. The, the, the good thing is that uh, being that they staggered wheels, we could probably just play around with the uh, barrels. I don't know, yeah, I'm gonna go figure it out right now, but uh, probably play around with the barrels, and swap the you know the rear with the front barrels, swap it around, and see if we could get a different size. So we're gonna play around with the offset and blah, 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 so on and so forth. All right, so let's check out the wheels. All right, uh, so here we have the wheels. So these are some cranes weds. Is uh, 18 by 10 and a half the front and 18 by 11 and a half in the back. So this is going to be on a seven gen Accord, just like mine. The only problem is that he does not have any uh, fender work, so it's going to be very, very challenging to make to put this on. So, uh, and obviously it doesn't fit. So right now I'm gonna have to. Take this apart and see if I could do something. Maybe uh, buy new barrels or swap them out. We're gonna see. All right, so uh, let's do some measurements. So this is the rear. So this is how you measure it. You measure from the where the lip is at all the way to the end. So this is a seven inch uh, inner barrel, and this one I believe it says it, but let's double check is a six and a half in the barrel. This is a four inch and this is a four inch and a half. So this is the real one. The problem is when we put on the wheel, the back of the barrel is pretty much almost touching the shock. You know, that's a very big problem. So being that it is almost touching the shock, uh, can't do much. Uh, with the arms, you could adjust the arms, but the end of the day, we're not fix uh, this touching the shocks. So we're gonna swap the barrel, and that was go that's gonna give us a half an inch of clearance from here to the shock. So once we got this clearance, then with the arms we can actually push the whole wheel in and make this side go in more. As you can see in the pictures, uh, it sticks out a lot. But what we're gonna do is, yeah, as we change the inner barrel, it's gonna push the whole wheel in. No, it's not gonna push the whole wheel in. It's actually gonna give us a space that we need to be, you know, to push the wheel all the way in by using the, the camber arms. So, this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna swap out, take out the bolts, and then we're gonna reseal them. Using a, a 10 millimeter uh, wrench for the back, and we're using a special socket. We're using a triple square 8 millimeter socket.